Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. If you're a regular viewer or if you're a subscriber, then it's great to see you again. But if you're new to my channel or if you've just found me through the SoFrugal22 hashtag, then you're very, very welcome. I'm really excited to be involved in the challenge this year, so a huge thanks to Sam from Frugalissima and Rowan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl for setting it up. It's had a rebrand now this year, so it's now called Sew Frugal 22, and I can only imagine the hard work that's gone into this challenge behind the scenes, so thank you ladies very, very much. So without further ado, I'll get started. Um, I'll start with what I'm wearing. This is a free pattern. This is the Tassuti pattern Mandy Boat Tea that I made years and years ago, and I really, really like it. So beautiful um, boxy style t-shirt. I made it long sleeves, and it's in this beautiful navy and gold star fabric that I bought years ago, I think in the knitting and stitching a long, long time ago, but I really, really like it. So it's a really great pattern. So I'll link that below as well. So while this is a fun challenge, there are a few rules. So I'll go through them right now. I know I'm I'm aware that this is the 18th of March and you've heard this a hundred times before, so I'll be very, very quick. So the first rule, choose a free pattern. So it can be any garment, but it has to be for a human. I like that specification there. Um, it must be freely available and um, it can't be from say a magazine or got as a gift. Then the second rule, fabric must be from your stash. So have a good rummage or think outside the box, think the airing cupboard, things like that. And um, the third rule is the garment must be sewn in March. So we're now the 18th of March. So hopefully you've, you've got started. Um, the fourth rule is that the reveal date is the 31st of March on Instagram using the hashtag SoFrugal22. So I can only imagine Sam and Ram's phones that day. They'll be pinging like nobody's business. Um, your account must be public so the girls can see it. And um, if you do want to show your progress, if you're working on it throughout March and you want to give little sneak peeks to everybody, then if you could use the hashtag um, so frugal with so so frugal WIP, that's just purely so that the so frugal 22 hashtag doesn't get clogged up ahead of time. So once you've got those four rules, there are a ton of prizes. So there are just so many great prizes out there from so many great companies. Sam is doing a daily video on all of those, so I'll link those below. So thank you so much to Sam Moran for organising that and to all the lovely sponsors. That is a great little bonus to this challenge. You can double dip. So if you do have another challenge going on in March, that's absolutely fine. And it is a challenge, so it's not going to be judged. The winners are going to be picked at random, which is really, really good. So this is going to be an all inclusive um, challenge that hopefully everybody can get involved in and enjoy. Um, it is a fun challenge and it'll get you thinking, get you out of your comfort zone. And it is a great way to find new pattern designers and also to find new vloggers as well. So. Without further ado, I will get started. So that's the housekeeping side of the vlog over. Now onto the main event. So I really liked the sound of this challenge. Um, I'm taking this as a challenge in three parts. I've got three patterns. I've got three fabrics because I've got three things in my stash. So I loved the sound of this. It meant that I was able to look at those three things that have been knocking around for a long time, just sitting there unloved. And now is the opportunity to find a lovely pattern to match them and to sew them up into something that I'll really, really enjoy. So love to send this challenge. And the first thing that I would like to have a go at potentially is the Etty camisole from Tammy Handmade. So I saw this on Sam Frugalissima's vlog and I think Ruan has it in her vlog as well. It's just such a pretty camisole top made for woven fabrics. It's got little spaghetti straps and it's got a beautiful scalloped neckline and I really, really liked the look of it. Um, the pattern doesn't come layered. Um, if you watch my vlog, you know I enjoy a layered pattern, but it does have diagonal lines on each of the corners, which makes sticking it together really, really easy. Um, and this is the fabric that I would like to use. It is a beautiful teal uh, petroly viscose that I've had since 2017. I bought it from a shop in Dublin as a closing down sale and I cannot remember the name of the shop so I'm so sorry but it, it has been in my stash since 2017 and it's absolutely beautiful. I don't just don't know why. It's lovely and soft, lovely and drapey and I think I have two meters of it as well. So my plan is to make the little camisole and then to also make a matching skirt just with maybe an elastic waistband or maybe a gathered skirt and that way I can make a faux dress and use up all the fabric because I don't think the top takes a massive amount of fabric. And then I can wear the top just with a pair of jeans and I can maybe wear the skirt with a different top. So this is my plan for my first make. The second pattern I found is from Passions by Pirates and I believe they're one of the sponsors and they're giving a prize as well, which is really, really great. And it is the Tulip Tea. So it's a really nice pattern. It's got loads of variations. You can do long sleeves, you can do a banded, you can do this beautiful tulip front or you can make it on a tulip back. And it does have nursing options and also um, maternity as well, which is really great if you're in that situation. 
So this is a layered pattern, which is marvellous. It also has no cut pages. So I stuck this together in literally five minutes. It was amazing. Um, you only print your size and view, so it gives specific pages based on that, which is amazing. It saves on paper again, which is really, really great. Um, it has a beautiful crossover front, as I said, which I was just drawn to immediately. I just love the look of that. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I, it's drafted for five foot five, but I don't think I'll have to lengthen it, which is really great. Um, and it comes in a huge amount of variation. So I think you'll get real bang for your buck here or no books, as it were. So the fabric that I would like to use is this. And what do you call this? Maybe a zebra print maybe in burgundy so i bought this at the knitting and stitching festival when it was last in dublin which i think was 2019 maybe it would have been and it's just beautiful i think it's actually the same time i bought this fabric so this actually is a garment of sorts i attempted to make a tilling the buttons agnes dress hack and for some reason i never finished it i don't know why but there is a ton of fabric here so i can just repurpose that into a tulip tea i think there'd be plenty of fabric so this has been sitting half made for how many years so it's just fabulous i can potentially take this out and make it into a new garment which is great so the zebra print is all little tiny dots which is really really cool so it's a beautiful cotton jersey nice stretch so i think that would be really nice as a tulip tea and the final pattern that I would like to have a look at as well is the Peppermint Passions jumpsuit. So I know Peppermint Passions now, they've had, um, a lot of vloggers have mentioned them. Um, they do have free passions, which is incredible. They do ask for a little donation. And now I think, I don't know, did you see on Sam's vlog or maybe on Instagram that their offices have been flooded recently during the awful, awful weather they, that they've been experiencing. So if you are in a position to give a small donation, I think it would be very, very gratefully received. So the peppermint pattern uh, jumpsuit, I think, looks really, really nice. I just like the way it's styled, so the girl is wearing it with a little belt. I think it's a really cute pattern. Um, the There's a good size range and there's good finished, um, finished garment measurements as well, which is great. Um, I might need to lengthen the pattern, so I'm five foot nine, so I'll have to have a look um, to see the rise and the leg length as well to see if I need to do any adjustments there. But it just looks like a really, really nice pattern for the springtime. Um, and the fabric that I have for this is in my stash for the shortest amount of time and um, I only bought it uh, late last year I think from Fabric Romance and it is a beautiful stretch denim so the pattern doesn't call for stretch fabric but I think in a jumpsuit it, that's going to be even more comfortable so yeah let's go with that so it's a kind of a marini dark um, denim -y color absolutely beautiful so I think I have plenty of it as well I did make it um, with a view to make dungarees I think and um, just never got around to it and it was just sitting there just begging to be made into a jumpsuit and it's the most gorgeous fabric, beautiful and soft. So I just think it would be really, really nice in a peppermint jumpsuit. So those are my three pattern picks and my three fabrics. And um, so we'll see which one I pick, which one I get done, if I get one done, if I get three done, we'll have to wait and see. I hope you enjoyed them. If you've made any of those patterns, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you or um, let me know what you're planning to do for this challenge as well. If you've been keeping up on the videos, um, I hope you have. Um, if you get a chance to take a look at yesterday's videos, which was Kath from Made by Kath Craft and also Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room. Today is myself and the lovely Gemma from Raining Cats and Bobbins. So be sure to give her channel a little look. And then tomorrow is going to be Cara from So So Mad and Hattie from Handmade by Hattie. So I hope you enjoy those videos too. So once again, thank you so much to Sam and Rowan for the amazing amount of work they've put into this challenge. Um, I hope you're all enjoying it. I hope you've got a little bit of inspiration there. I hope you're starting to look at your stash and look at some uh, patterns online. If you would like to put one up um, your work in progress, be sure to tag So Frugal Whip and then on the 31st of March, So Frugal 22. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Take care. Bye.